the Lord. Brethren, we just uh, have received some serious rain from God. Heaven has opened up our head this afternoon, and we have seen the outpouring of the, of, the, of, the, of the favor and the grace of God upon us. We need to thank God, even for the message that came, even for the earlier seminar we listened to. God has been so magnanimous in dishing out help to us, even from instructions that were coming from, those, from the seminar and from the message. We just thank God. It could never have been better than this. First of all, I want us to thank God for the things that God has spoken to us about. Let's thank God for the seminar. Thank God for this message. Thank God for how he has, uh, in, 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 in mercy, brought help to us through the things that, we have, that, 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 we have been, that have been shared to us. Let's just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for gathering us. Thank you, Lord, for pouring upon us. Thank you, Lord, for coming, even in the way you came, in the seminar and even in the message proper. Lord, we thank you, Father, because you have, uh, again, in message, spoken to us, even like people who you have, uh, who you love, people who you want to help, people who you are preparing, even for the end of the time. Lord, we thank you. Only you could have spoken this way. And Lord, we know, Father, that it is for a purpose because there's a cause. That's why you have gathered us as men so that you can speak to us, so that we can learn and we begin to walk in the path of righteousness, taking responsibilities to become men on the earth. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We give you worship. We say, blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I ask now that you begin to respond to God, even as we take on a few issues of prayers from both the uh, seminar and also the message proper. The first thing I want us to look at is the fact that God has told us about spiritual responsibilities to us as men. And it says, first of all, we have to be father, even to our household. We have to be husband to our wives, and we have to also be priests, even to our homes. And God dealt immensely with those matters, even as he was talking to us. And I remember that the passage came in from Genesis 18, 18, where we saw that God spoke about Abraham, that he will surely teach his children and his household to keep the way of the Lord. That is so important as one of the responsibilities as men. So I want us to pray and ask God, Lord, help me, Father, to be responsible. Help me to become a real man that we take care of his household. Real father to my children, a real husband to my wife, and a priest of my home. Let's begin to pray. Father, we just plead with you again, even as your word has come. Lord, it is clear to us that it is help that you, have, you are lending us. You are giving us wisdom of how to live this life and to please you. We pray, God, that you help us to become husband, even to our wives, real husband, that we love our, our wife and allow them even to, to, to flow in us. Lord, you will make us real fathers to our children. We will bring them up in the way of the Lord and teach them to follow after Christ. Help us, O oh Lord, to become priests of our home that will take the responsibility of leading our home in the name of Jesus. Brethren, amongst other things we heard is the fact that we must be people who are charting the course or the vision for our home. God has given us homes, and the reason he gave us this home is so that we can carry out the purpose of God, even for our family. Brethren, I want us to pray that, Lord, that thing that you have, that purpose, that particular a reason why you have joined me and my wife, why you have made, give us, given us children, why you have made a family of us, that purpose for which you want my family to fulfill, Lord, help me to fulfill it. Help me to discover it. Help me to walk in it. And help me to fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we just plead with you, Lord, that that purpose for which you have created my family, uh, the families of all people that are watching, Lord, we ask that you help us, Father, to walk into that reason you to help to walk into the purpose and help us oh lord to fulfill it in the name of jesus the assignments you have given to our family individually to carry out for you even in this in the in this 
side of the divide. Help us to carry it out, O oh Lord, and help us to fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Brethren, again, we, are, we heard clearly from that seminar that there are rules that we are supposed to play, even as men in the home. And the organogram that was given to us was clear that Jesus is the head, Christ is the head of the man, and the man is the head of the woman. And so we are supposed to play that role, depending on God and also allowing our wives even to depend on us and to submit to us. It's a place of submitting to Christ, that, we also, that our, our wives and our children will submit to us. So let's begin to ask God, Lord, help me to play my role. Help me, Lord, not to allow myself not to submit to my own head. If Christ is my head, Lord, whatever it will take for me to submit to my head, Lord, help me to do it in the name of Jesus. Father, help me, O oh Lord, even as the head of my wife, Lord, to be protective, to, to, to love my wife, to love him even as Christ loves the church. Help me also to teach my children, even in the way of God, so that they can grow and they can also love God and walk in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in the garden of God and fulfill the purpose of God, even for their own lives, in the name of Jesus. Brethren, one of the other things that touched me, even in that seminar, is the fact that we are supposed to create the, the values for our family. We were even told that even people who, do, people who created our own customs, there are people who didn't know God, but here we are. We have known God. We have known the values and the cultures and the tradition of God, tradition of our own God, because the, tra the family, the tradition and the culture we met were on godly tra tradition and culture. So now let's begin to pray. Ask God, Lord, help me. Tradition after God, after Christ for my family. Lord, we have come to agree with you that you are God. And that it is what you ask us to do that we do. And that we follow you even unto the day of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Lord, help me to set the culture of God in my family so that I can be peace in my home. So that I can be peace, oh Lord, even amongst my wife, my children, and myself in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Brethren, I also want us to go a little bit into some of the issues that were raised even during the message pro proper. We, one of the things that touched me most is the fact that no man that is not formed by God that can actually work for God. No man that is not formed by God that can fulfill any purpose on earth. So a man who can function in the garden of God is a man that God has formed. Brethren, we need God to form us. And it's also clear that we were one that a man that is not formed will deform the work that is given to him. That a man that is not formed will increase his own deformity. That, that's, those are serious issues that God is raising with us today. Let's begin to ask God, Lord, whatever it is that you will do to form me, Lord, form me. Whatever you have to take me through, whoever you have to send me to, whatever experiences that I have to go through so that I can be formed to fulfill your purpose and to function in the garden that you have sent me, Lord, do it and take all the glory. Father, we plead with you. Lord, help me. Form me, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, form me. Father, recreate me, O oh Lord, in your own image. Help me, O oh Lord. What about men? What about, what about persons you have to take me through that will help me to be formed? Father, do it for me. Whatever life experiences that I have to go through, through so that I can become man after your own image. Father, do it in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name. God, there's another thing that touched me. It says that men who in themselves are not engaged, who are not engaged, who are not, cannot engage divine resources. That is strong, you know, because if God has not engaged us so that we can become dependable on God, so that we can become reliable on God, so that we cannot do things out of our own self-will or, or out of carelessness or whatever we think, but we will depend on God for everything that God is asking us to do per time, per season. Those are the kind of men that God is asking for. That is the kind of men we are asking God to make us, real men. Let's beg God that God help us to Lord, that we will always engage for your mouth and begin to plead. Lord, we plead with you. Help me, Lord, Father, that I will continually engage divine resources to do whatever it is that you place in my hand to do. That I will not do anything out of my own self-will. That I will not do anything, oh Lord, just because I see other people doing it. Lord, help me. 
Help me to always come to you. Help me to depend on you. Help me to rely on you. No matter how small it is, no matter how, uh, how, uh, or how small the matter may be, help me to engage you. Help me to depend on you. Help me to find solution even from you. Help me to get help from you so that I can deal with whatever need that comes to my life in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. We also find out that God has also set guardians that we are going to work. We look at the guardian of the family. We look at guardian of intimate relationship, personal relationship with God. We look at the guardian of vocation. And in all of these, we have to be, we have to set ourselves, submit to God, so that we can function in those guardians appropriately, even as God has called us to function. Let's begin to ask God, Lord. Wherever, whatever garden you have placed me, whichever garden you have placed, whichever thing you have put in my hands, Lord, whether it is in my garden of intimate relationship with you, whether it is my garden of the family, whether it is in my garden of, 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 of my vocation, Lord, help me so that I can function properly in all this garden and I can become a real man standing for you in all those places. Even in my own relationship, I will be close to you. Father, in my family, I will be standing, oh Lord, taking directive from you. In my vocation, Lord, I will not let any matter go. Everything I find my hand to do, Lord, I will do it knowing fully well that I have received from you. That is our prayer. Lord, we plead with you. You will help us in all the gardens where you have set us, whether it is in the garden of our our personal relationship, whether it's in the garden, oh Lord, of our our joyful, uh, our family, whether it's the garden of our vocation, the job that we are doing, Lord, help us not to be found wanting. Help us to excel in all of these places. Help us to take from, to always receive from you, even as we do this. Lord, finally, help us to shine for you, even in the places where you have set up. Yes, indeed, the Bible says, no man likes a can and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, so that it can give light to all the things around it. Lord, help us to shine for you. Help us, oh Lord, Father, that we become a shining light, oh Lord, in your garden, that men may take illumination from us, that men may learn from us, that men may, men may begin to ask, with what, we have, what do we do? Which God is our God? So that they can come to you, so that they can eat from the fruits that we, that we produce, even as men who walk in, with the mind of God, and they can give glory back to you. This is our heart cry, Lord. Do it, O oh Lord, in this season and have all the glory and take all the adoration and take all the praise, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father God, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.